Hi, this is Dr. Grande. I hope you find this video useful. If that's the case, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Hello, Kathy. How are you doing today? Okay. You okay? I know when we spoke last time, you had some uh, goals that you wanted to talk about this time. Are you ready to do that? I need to, yeah. Yeah? What do you have in mind? I just keep thinking about, you know, losing this weight, and I just, I really want to do it, and I just, I just can't get there, and I don't know why. Right, so you're frustrated. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. Frustrated trying to lose the weight. Now, you had said before that you had a specific number of pounds in mind, a specific amount of weight to lose. Do you still have that in mind? I would like 20 pounds. 20 pounds. I mean, I would like more, but I, I've tried to do more in the past, and I don't even get past a couple of days. So if I can do 20, that would be great. All right, and you've tried before? And what do you think got in the way? I don't know. I guess it wasn't convenient, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I want to do it, and it means a lot, you know, for me and my family. I think I'd be a lot healthier. It's important to you. Yeah. Um, but just, like, something always gets in the way, you know, and then I lose focus. I'm not very good at staying focused on stuff like that anyway, so... All right, so loss of focus. So you start trying to lose the weight, and your focus gets disrupted. And I forget, and then I make, you know, spaghetti casserole for six people, and then I eat a lot of it, and that's carbs and cheese and fat, and then I, you know, will eat what my kids don't eat, and then it's just, like, I forget that I'm supposed to be making healthy choices. All right, so you know how to lose weight, and you know you can lose weight, but your focus is a little off when you're, when you're trying, and that's... That's cause of the problem. I think so. Yeah. Could we break that goal of losing 20 pounds down into smaller units? Like, say, 5 pounds? Do you think... Well, maybe. Yeah, um, because I've never... I always just keep, like, the chunk mm -hmm. of weight, you know ahead of me. I don't break it into smaller increments. That might work. I mean, I don't know how. I'd have to stay on top of it, though, weigh myself every day. Is that something you can do? I'm so busy. I don't know. Or once a week? I could probably do once a week. Put a sticky note somewhere or something. You know? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to try. I'm going to say yes because I want to try it, you know. So you mentioned the loss of focus is one problem. How about motivation? Do you feel motivated to move through all those steps, like five pounds and five pounds and so on? Right now, yes. I think I would need something to keep me going, you know, week to week. Okay. Um, a little bit of that, something extra to help you stay motivated. Yeah, like um, when you're sometimes when you know your kid does your homework early or does their homework early, and you can you know give them a special treat for dessert. Like that helps you know keep it going. Okay. You know. So some sort of uh, activity or item that you enjoy that you could reserve for when you reach that that goal. Of say the yeah. the first five pounds. Right, right. Yeah. I would love. I mean, I'm just. I've been so embarrassed, you know, lately. So I feel like I just if, if I can find something that keeps me motivated, me yeah, keeps me motivated. That would be that'd be great. All right. Do you have a uh, activity or item in mind that that we could put in place as a Something you could reward yourself with? 
Like after the first five pounds? Well, there's a few ways we could do it. Uh, we could do that. So you reach five pounds and then you can give yourself that reward. Or it could be for something you do every day if that day you're successful in eating the way you want to eat. What do you think would motivate you more? Maybe something every day. Mm -hmm. So I remember, you know, I just get so distracted by other stuff. So there was something every day that maybe I put put out almost like a like a goal at the end of the day or something. Okay. You know, if I made the right choices. Yeah, so you know each and every day as you're trying to lose weight, you're aware when that day comes to a close, if you had a successful right. day or a less than successful day. Right. And if you have a successful day, then you could engage in an activity or receive an item that that we work out in advance that you know would motivate you. Right. And that could be, you know, maybe watching like a favorite TV show. Okay. You know, because I don't watch TV at night because I'm so busy, you know, cleaning up and everything. And maybe I could just take some time for myself because I did something good, mm -hmm. you know, and just watch a TV show. All right, so let's so let's do that. Uh, in, on a day, you know, toward the evening, um, when you know you have had a successful day, by what time would you know in the evening? Probably as I'm preparing dinner. If I prepare a good dinner, mm -hmm. or if I prepare fun food for my kids, but I don't eat it, like chicken nuggets and French fries and stuff, I would know. You know, maybe by like six or seven. Okay. In the Let's say evening. seven. Okay. Let's say so by seven p.m. At that point, in terms of the day being successful or less than successful, you know. Okay. Right. By seven p.m., you're aware. And at that point, if you have met your goal, mm -hmm. then you have a you have a TV show that you maybe have recorded on the DVR or something that yeah. you would watch. Okay. And if you were not as successful, you wouldn't. Right. So it would be like something to keep you motivated throughout the day because you really want to watch that show. Right. It would be a lot of fun. Do mm. you think that structure, that kind of behavioral strategy, would, would give you enough motivation to have successful days through this process? I don't know, honestly, but it would probably beat the way I feel right now. If anything's kind of better than carrying this, this you know, frustration around. Um, so I'm willing to try anything, and I'll I'll try to remember. I'll like I said, I'll I'll, I'll write it down. You know, I'll have it in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Have it on a note, seven p.m. You know, how did I do today? Yeah, and this is something you could also track. Uh, right, you could write down days that were successful, days that were less than, less than successful, and we could look at if there's any patterns. Maybe weekends are harder, oh, okay. weekends are easier, you know, or something where we can identify days that have maybe more triggers hmm. or where you're less motivated. Yeah, I didn't think about that because, right, every day would be different. Okay. Right, there's a potential for every day to be different with what you're exposed to and you know, what temptations in terms of different foods, mm -hmm. or what your schedule's like, maybe if you're busier, right. it's easier. Um, so we can we can look at those uh, different patterns, and we can add levels to this plan. Okay. But for now, we'll go with the, the TV show that you'll watch sometime after 7. Mm -hmm. So at 7, you'll evaluate how you did, and then sometime after that, uh, watch the show. Okay. That's like a plan? So that's leading up to the 5 pounds. Right. Right, okay. Yeah, That's we'll, just day by day. Okay. We'll take this in, in five pound increments. Okay. Uh, four times to get to your goal of 20 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Does that sound good? So, so far, so good, yeah. We'll give that a shot okay. and we'll take a look at the pattern that emerges. So okay. record everything. Right. So write everything down. Okay. Probably at around seven is a good time. Um, when you know what kind of day you had, write down kind of what happened that day and whether you had success or not, and bring that in. Okay. I'll see you again in a week, so I'll give, us, I'll give you seven, seven days to work with. Okay. And we'll look at that 
log of events, and we'll reevaluate each week. So I could start tonight. Start tonight. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll give that a shot, and I'll see you in a week. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Kathy.